All right, painted the bumper. I let it cure for two weeks, and now I gotta apply some correction compounds because I have some orange peel like on these spots. But overall, looking good. Now that it's dry and cure, I can do some polish and correction compounds and see what's the end result. But for now, that's what we got. Now that the bumper is off, we can take a look at the intercooler and blow off valves. See, the nice job that Infinity Performance did on the cold side. This is the precision 1500 horsepower rating. I have three inch inlet and three and a half outlet. And I have 250 millimeter tile block bulbs and it hooked up straight into the turbo over here it's a really nice and efficient intercooler and I think precision already discontinued this product if you go to their website they don't have it available anymore so I was lucky enough to get one and it fits like it was meant for this car when the bumper is on everything is tight and fit it's snugging really nice it fits really nice against this support on the bottom of the bumper it doesn't scrape the street or any any of that which i don't want to do because it can damage intercooler that's an expensive repair so that's really nice what he Raul Infinity Performance did over here with the cold side. He tucked everything well. He got the two blow bulbs on the hot side. Some people rather put it on the hot on the cold side over here. But sometimes you have interference with the map sensor. You gotta have a clean signal and Sometimes on often people put it close to the map sensor and when the block block valve releases the pressure it creates a pre you know stable pressure in the pipe and that creates a dirty signal for the map sensor so the computer really is confused about how much air is coming in or going out because there's also air coming out through the ball valves in and out. So um, that's a common mistake. So the blood valves are really far from the map sensor. So it never gave me a problem. And it's, you can go with three and a half on both sides, but I chose to go smaller on the inlet. That creates more pressure. It's like a AC unit, pressure goes in and expands and then cools down the air and then comes out with three and a half and also you have to go three and a half because the throttle body intake is uh, three and a half so regardless you gotta increase the size to three and a half so i did it in the outlet and it's a uh, very really nice fit with this intercooler really bad that they discontinue this product because it's amazing for at least for these cars I'm also working on getting another support for the differential. Let me show you what I'm doing. That one inch chromoly pipe is going to weld into the 
lower control arms and that's gonna give it extra support for the axle tubes and also the lower control arms so now I just gotta be welded together and I'm gonna add a jack point in the center so I can jack up the car on the differential without damaging anything that's gonna be next all right so i got my polisher some 1500 grit sandpaper i got the wool bonnet some wool pads microfiber racks and that should do it you got the sandpaper soaked in water for two hours so let's try to sand the bumper down so we can do the compound, the partial compound. First, let's mask the bumper off so we don't damage the phone lip. started in two weeks so I'm a cold starter let it run for a while let a few run because I got 85 in the time so I'm gonna deal with some heat cycle and 